me Halloween. I'm Pumpkin Garnet with pumpkin eggs. And I am going to read you guys a Harvest Moon creepypasta, crappy pasta that I found while researching for my Harvest Moon iceberg, the very first one that I found out of the whole list. By the way, the iceberg is actually done and it is in my pinned tweet on Twitter if you want to look at it. The explanation video for the iceberg is still being made. There was some problems but it is, it's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you the unnamed cow, which I found on IGN. And the oldest one I found was from 2012. I have seen it reposted like later. I don't know if this one is actually the original or not. Also, I found some other weird things while trying to see if there were any others like reposted to figure out where the original was. I can, my, my thoughts aren't organized. Let's read, let's read. The unnamed cow, Harvest Moon Creepypasta. One day, I was grounded. Mom, why am I grounded? I said to my mom. Because you play too many video games, was her answer. So because I was angry, I went into the garden and got a spade and started digging, thus ruining the grass. Then my spade hit something. It was round and shiny and was a PlayStation game disc. Cool, I said. I sneaked upstairs and sneakily put it face up in my PlayStation games console. It worked! to my amazement. And it was Horace Moon Back to Nature. Yes, I said. The title screen came on and I sang loudly to the music. I called the farmer blue because he had a blue hat and green is my favorite color. Then I watched the cutscenes and saw the black and white photos of the farmer when he was a boy visiting his grandfather's farm. One part was different though. One of the photos was just of a cow. He said, ah. I'm trying not to actually be too loud. I don't think there was a cow photograph supposed to be there. It was just supposed to be the farmer as a child playing on the farm. He used to visit his grandfather before his grandfather passed away, and this is what the photographs represent, I said to myself. But sure enough, it was a black and white photo of a cow saying nothing but, Ah, it must be because of the dirt the game was covered in, I assured myself, wiping my heavy brow. Yeah, yeah dirt, dirt'll do that. I forgot about it and the game was normal apart from that. I met all villagers and was nice to them. I bought some turnip and potato seeds and carried on fine. It wasn't until autumn when it weird. I had a great farm with lots of crops and animals and one day decided I had enough money for another cow. I couldn't be bothered to wait for a cow of my own to give birth, so I went and bought one from Yodel Ranch. Oh, from the Yodel Ranch, excuse me. I can't wait to get my new cow, I cheered. Barley sold me the cow at the regular price, but for some reason, he didn't ask me to name the cow. I was really confused as you got to name every animal. When I went home, the cow was in my barn. I went and talked to it, but it did not moo. Instead, there was a horrible loud, <laughs> I can't be loud right now, the name, there was a horrible loud, ah, scream again every time I clicked on the cow. I pushed the cow out of the barn to where my other cows, Utters, Burger King, and Craig were grazing. The unnamed cow went over to my other cows and screamed at them. They immediately fell down and I was warped to the church. I had to watch the animal funeral scene with Pastor Carter three times in a row. Then the unnamed cow went over to my horse, Porridge, and the same thing happened. The horse cannot die in this game, but he did and the funeral was held once more. Oh man, poor Porridge. You were very bad buying that cow, Pastor Carter told Blue the farmer, who he called Red for some reason. No, he didn't. You must get rid of that cow. I went back to my farm, and thank God my dog was okay. I knew what I had to do. I I'm, glad I'm glad that they didn't kill the dog. I had to just bite my lip and sell the unnamed cow. I went to Barley's store and tried to sell the cow, but Barley said, no, I don't want that cow back. I tried loads of times, but Barley wouldn't take the unnamed cow back. I walked out Barley's house and shook my head tragically. Then I saw right in front of me was the cow. He knew I was trying to sell him and he was not happy. He screamed at me and I ran away in the, in the game. Yes, not in real life. Here is a picture to prove this. The cow kept appearing on the screens I ran past because I accidentally went the wrong way at first so I had to go all around the town. <laughs> I passed about five screens instead of one and then the cow appeared in every single one. 
What? He was in the middle of the town square looking freaky. His small, black eyes looked like he was planning to kill me by knocking me over then trampling in the game. You can see that in, in eyes, yes. I could see the black pupils plotting Blue's doom step by step. Literally, it looked like he was thinking about trampling over Blue step by step with his hooves. I, I'm sorry, I had to read over make sure I just wasn't reading the same freaking sentence over and over. I also saw a hint of him dragging Blue into the ocean in his expression, which was facing towards the south, which is where the beach is in this game. Then he was by the door of the inn, like he was blocking it, like he was trying to make my character starve to death. There was more to it than that, though his eyes seemed to be plotting to destroy the inn as well. He, <laughs> they sure are going on with this eyes thing. He was also near the church graves where Utter's Burger King, Craig, and Porridge were buried. He did not seem to care about what he had done or shown any sign of remorse for his actions. Then I had to go to the bathroom in real life. I got back from the bathroom. When Blue got back to the farm, I took my dog in the house and went to sleep. But when I woke up the next morning in the game, my dog was gone. Oh no. Then I looked at the screen, and the unnamed cow was there in my house! He screamed his cowish scream, and I was scared. Then the screen changed to show the photograph of the cow from earlier. I could only assume he killed Blue, my farmer character, because Blue's body was in the background dead. <laughs> the ocean was over him, and- what? The ocean was over him, and his head fell off, and opened one eye, and said, Never buy an unknown cow. I closed my eyes and realized the cow had killed Blue for certain. I went outside and buried the game exactly where I found it, hoping it would still work when I was brave enough to dig it up again. But 20 years later, it was gone. I will never get grounded again. I don't have an outro for this one. <laughs>